fucking hard at the top. Down. Hello there. Welcome to the Trap Bar Deadlifts. I'm going to be taking you through the simple steps of setting up, which uh, we will start with the microphone being attached to my shirt. Now, for your feet, you're literally just going to set them anywhere between your shoulders and your feet being together, right? Really, you've got all of this range to play with within the bar, but naturally, underneath your hips to shoulders are going to feel the most comfortable. From here, I'm going to take a deep breath in. Come down. I will pull the tension or the slack out of the bar. And then when I'm ready, stand tall. Locking hard at the top. Down. And repeat. You can also touch and go these reps. Could have demoed with less weight. Would make it easier to catch my breath. Now, for both the touch and go and the reset trap bar deadlift, the setup is going to be the same. Now, with your feet, unlike a conventional deadlift in where the barbell is in front of you and you have to position your body in a way that allows you to then pull that up, which can get tricky with mobility, um, depending on how tall you are, lever lengths, etc., etc. The trap bar takes a lot of those, I guess, restrictions away. Being that I'm now standing on the inside of the bar and my hands get to go either side of me, now rather than pulling the weight from either in front or behind, I'm just feeling that my feet are driving to the floor and I'm just standing up. The trap bar deadlift, you will find that you can stack a hell of a lot more weight on for multiple different reasons than your conventional deadlift. So, knowing that, have some fun with that. Put a bit more weight on, but the dot points stay the same. With my feet, when I'm setting up and I'm pulling the tension or the slack out of the bar, I want to feel as if my feet are driving through the floor. So when I'm setting, you know, wherever my feet are, whether they're wide or narrow, when I start pulling tension, the main point I'm looking at is does it feel like I can drive my whole glutes, hamstrings, quads, body through the floor? And that way, when I set, I'm not gonna be too far over and pulling through my back, nor am I gonna be too far forward when now I'm driving through my knees and the shins. So when you're setting, you're looking for that neutral. As you set up and you're pulling the slack out of the bar, just find that position. Set, am I able to push through the floor? And if you can, you have a good rep. Next up is your bracing and breathing. Now, a lot of the time I will see people trying to set up and when they hear brace, they tend to breathe a lot of air out and create this vacuum or sucking effect of their abs because naturally I feel like tensing their abs is crushing in, which it is, and breathing out so you can see your abs more or create that again vacuum effect. The problem with that is when we're lifting, we want as much air as possible to help support our diaphragm, rib cage, and chest, right? This allows for a much stronger brace and allow us to push more weight. Now, when we're looking for that, we don't want to just breathe into the belly or just breathe into the chest. We want as much air as possible to fill up this whole area. A good cue I like to use is taking a pistol grip and actually bringing that to your rib cage. So you've got the front of your fingers on your abs and the front of your ribs. And then you've also got your thumbs sitting around your obliques, but also your, your back, almost the bottom of your lats. Now when I breathe in, 
I'm not just gonna aim for my stomach to go. I'm gonna aim to get my thumbs to also push or raise up. So I'll take a deep breath in and I can feel like my thumbs as well as my fingers, as well as my chest, all gets air in there. And then you're trying to hold that. You'll notice that I'm breathing in and out to different phases of the lift. When I am doing that, I'm not breathing all of my air out. I'm trying to hold all of that in there for as long as possible. So if anything, I'm just breathing 20 to 30% of my air out each time. So I set, feet, brace, tension, up, breathe out a little bit here, breathe in again, down, holding my breath, lift, 30%, to get that little bit of extra power, breathe in. I can also, if I need to, take some micro breaths here. But never do I want to go and then breathe everything out. Because you will feel the difference and you will not have that same brace that you would if you had a full torso of air. Now, next piece pulling the slack out of the bar. Now, what we're trying to do here is I can look like I have this great position to set up, but it doesn't mean that I've pulled any tension or created any tension in where I can lift. So if I just look like I have a good position, I'm like, oh yeah, cool, this is a nice setup. You know, my back feels relatively straight. My feet are in the position, I feel like they drop through the floor. And then I go to lift it. and my whole spine just get pulled and I look like a scared cat, no good, right? Now, no matter how your back looks, neutral, slightly curved, slightly extended, a sure way you can know that it's always going to be a strong lift is if you set and you pull the slack out of the bar and stand, you're gonna be a lot stronger. I can even have a slight round in my back, but pull tension, I can be overextended as long as I'm pulling that tension first and then lifting, you're gonna eliminate a lot of the fears of injury. All right? Next up is your lockout. The reason why we say just lock out to where it feels balanced is because sometimes with a deadlift, you can see someone leaning right back, right back to try and get that deadlift, right? What you're gonna do instead is just make sure that you're neutral when you stand. Because if I try to lean back with this, the barbell doesn't have my thighs to keep me balanced. I'm gonna fall right back. So you wanna make sure that when you lock out, you're not locking out and throwing those hips forward. Stand up, feel that everything's got tension, but don't go too far back, nor too far forward, yeah? Find that balance point. You'll hear me say that a lot. Balance in the movement. Now, when you are doing said touch and goes and the trap bar deadlift, the setup is going to be the same, right? Especially if you're still learning the movement or you're new to it, have that same setup the whole way through. But that's not the only way you can use a trap bar. You can do different things like setting up in an RDL position where my hips are now a little bit further back, I'm pulling tension, and I'm creating a RDL feel in where I'm just trying to find that stretch in the hamstrings, squeeze to stand, and staying far over. It's a different kind of deadlift. There are deadlift variations in where you can split your stance, you can do jumps, you can even, depending on your trap bar. They will have different handles, but a lot of them will have a higher handle and a lower handle. So now, when I set this one up, I can actually get a lot lower in my setup, pull tension, and stand. Increase in the range, as normally you'll find that the trap bar has higher handles, which then takes away that need or uh, that need or prerequisite to have a lot of mobility to complete the deadlift. So now we can get lower 
and create more range of motion. And always we're looking for strength in a wide range of motion, which allows us to be better athletes. Now, whichever variation you choose, two of those points always stay the same. Pull tension, brace, and you know what? Here's a magical third one too. Lock out with balance. No matter what variation you do, whether it's split stance, RDL, whatever, you are looking to make sure that at the top, you're balancing your lockout, and that may change on footing, and you are bracing by breathing. Create a full tank of air. And lastly, and always, pull the damn slack out of the bar. Ladies and gents, that is your trap bar deadlift. Uh, enjoy, and please throw any questions, comments you have down below, or DM me and I'll answer them appropriately. Peace out, take care, Garnier.